But I'm going to begin, uh, guys, just by saying first congratulations on the show. And Thank if you, you could just tell me a little bit about the characters you play. Sure. I am Luke Newton. And I play Ben Evans. Ben works at the lodge. Um, his best friends with Sean. Um, takes a bit of a liking to Sky. Um, he's quite sensitive, quite reserved. Um, that's me. That's Ben. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Sophie, and I play Sky. Uh, Sky is a really interesting character. She's really positive. She has a great outlook on life. Uh, she loves her friends and her family. And um, you see her throughout the series go on such amazing journeys. She discovers herself. She has to deal with a lot, um, but she's always always has a positive outcome to everything. She's really she's got really creative edge as well. You see that in the way she dresses yeah. and the way she redoes the lodge. So yeah, she's a really great character. She's clumsy. She's very clumsy, <laughs> and that's where like my natural clumsiness that's comes you. in. Yeah, yeah. She's a bit of a she's goof. Not she is. I'm not she's acting. Yeah. When I fall, I fall. That's there was just... actually one scene when we have to. Uh, is it is it in the first step? Second or second? What? With Patrick, when you bring Patrick in, that's that. bring the character Patrick in, and. We all go, surprise! And when Sophie first brought him in, there was something sticking out and Sophie, she completely stacked it. Do you remember? Yeah. And our reaction is, I think it might be used because yeah. we're laughing so much. It's like great energy. I'm on the floor loving yeah. life. <laughs> so I gather then you, there's a sort of love triangle going on in the series. Yes, yeah. there is. So yeah. I've just walked in on that. That's quite awkward. <laughs> Welcome. Um, but I mean, you must be so full. I mean, you've got this part because I guess at, at sort of a certain age, we all, um, actors need that big break, they need someone to take a chance on them. I guess for you guys, The Lodge has been that. I mean, it's just sort of sunk in yet that you're all kind of a big part of a big Disney franchise. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's all, it's, it's really exciting. I mean, I remember when we first got the script through. Yeah. Um, and I'd, I'd just done uh, training in uh, Edinburgh, doing musical theatre, but I'd always wanted to break into do, like more acting, TV, film. Uh, and so when this came came up, it was a kind of perfect combination of, of all three disciplines. So. That's what really really excited me about this, and obviously working for for someone like Disney is, yeah. is pretty special. I mean, considering we're all quite young actors still, we Disney's a perfect company to be working with right yeah. now. Like they look after us so well, they're always ensuring that we're okay. And with such a fun project like this, obviously it's like intense job, mm -hmm. um, but you know you keep upbeat and you keep happy because you just love what you're doing. So yeah, yeah. it's sort of one of those things you. I, I feel I keep thinking when we watch it we'll go okay like I like now it's, real. it's sunk in because throughout the process different people sort of had it at different times I remember the first time we all met we went to the Natural History Museum yeah. for the very first time the cast to sort of just sort of get to know each other um, and one of the cast was like oh this feels real now and I remember you saying that no way this like it still is just where I real. can't even comprehend what's going on know. with our lives but. I think it will, we'll all get there eventually, maybe in 10 years when we watch it back. <laughs> <laughs> and it must almost feel like the quiet before the storm. You're actually so excited about sharing this with your friends and family. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm so excited about the launch is just seeing if, how people like it, what they think. Yeah. You know, these characters are so great and amazing and relatable. I just can't wait for people to, you know, feel like, you know, relatable to them. You know, yeah. it, it's... And because it's so new and exciting, you know, there's so many opportunities for people to get inspired to do mm -hmm. things like, you know, there's mountain biking, kayaking, singing, dancing, ukuleleing, DJing, yeah, everything yeah. you possibly put into well, a show. When we finished filming, I remember thinking, <laughs> is there's such a long time until the release, and that time has just gone like that. So we've been quick. so busy, sort of doing things involved in the show, getting ready for like concerts that we've done, that were live performances here and there, and. Um, sort of gone so quick and then yeah. now we're now here. Now it's like, Friday yeah. and <laughs> it's happening. <Yeah. laughs> so you all spend quite a lot of time living together kind of in this sort of house and it must have felt a bit like a summer camp and really kind of informed that kind of what, very genuine, quite authentic kind of camaraderie you've got in the series. Yeah, we did. We actually stayed um, about 40 minutes away from, from the lodge, from set. We stayed uh, in, in the centre of Belfast, but we all stayed on the same floor in the hotel. Mm. Um, and I mean, you'd, you'd walk down the corridor at night and you could just hear everyone singing. <laughs> Let's just say our neighbours didn't or like us so much. Yeah. We, I remember we, there was a couple of times having like the guys come up from reception being like, I'm really sorry yeah, guys, yeah. you've got to be quiet. Yeah, yeah Dom Harrison, who plays Oz, yeah. is quite a loud guy anyway, and yeah. uh, one day he was sort of rocking out with his with guitar, guitar, got yeah. a noise complaint, yeah. we all got in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be staying in a different hotel for series yeah. two. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'll be returning. Because <laughs> uh, uh, Sophie, because I mean, Sky has got a real kind of emotional story in this, and I mean, in a kind of series where it's so much about kind of singing and dancing that like we've kind of established, what, was it quite a challenge to kind of connect to her on very kind of human terms? and get into that kind of side of the character? Well, Sky's journey is really interesting because it's one that, I mean, she's got different journeys, but one that everyone can relate to. You know, she's 
dealing with change, which is a huge concept, especially for someone so young. She's dealing with the, like, the loss of her mother um, and dealing with just forming this new relationship with her dad, as well as trying to fit with a new group of friends and fall into a love triangle. And she's got a reality TV show chasing her. So, you know, considering how happy and positive she is the whole time, mm. she does, a, I really do admire her. She does a really good job of it. Yeah. Um, as to accessing that, um, it was really um, interesting to go around how someone so young would deal with something like death. Um, and I play alongside uh, Marcus Garvey, who plays Ed, who's my father, um, and he's such an excellent actor. It made me really easy to, um, well, easier to connect with him. And we, you'll see in the series, we have a really special bond um, between her and her dad because, you know, that's her family. It's mm. who she's got. Mm -hmm. As for you guys, I mean, you both in, is, both characters into motorbiking in in this series. Yeah, and, mountain, uh, biking. mountain biking. Yeah, yeah. sorry, mountain yeah. biking. <laughs> motorbiking. Ooh, that's, a new story. That's, that's a new sport yeah. Yeah. I've just created. Um, I just wondering. I mean, did you guys? Is that something you're interested in real life, or did you do any of the kind of stunts yourself? Or I mean, what was? What's yeah, we did. Like? I mean, yeah. uh, during the rehearsal period, we actually went outside London um, before rehearsals or during rehearsals, um, and yeah, we'd have a couple of hours sessions yeah. learning how to mountain bike because we'd never done it before either yeah. of us and um, so we're brand new to it um, and yes it was amazing wasn't yeah, it yeah a lot of that a lot of like the basics that i wouldn't even think of we we, we did a lot of research and sort of watching them uh what watching professional mountain bikers um on on youtube and stuff and and uh i never really thought about some of the subtle things that we worked on mm. for like a two hour session we would just work on one thing over and over and over again the same jump or the the same corner um and it was so beneficial because then when we, we when we got onto set we just sort of went went straight into that and whether it's just we're pulling in and skidding to an entrance it was so useful wasn't yeah. it just to be able to have that knowledge and 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 you fall in love with it i mean yeah. we, i mean we were doing it last week we were yeah. to do it so you, do, you keep it up and it's Pass something that we'd never never have thought about doing. Mm. So it, that's what we kind of want for the kids to watch, to try new things. Uh, it's yeah. something they've never, would never even consider doing like mm. myself, like Luke. Get inspired. Get inspired, yeah. And what's it like performing the songs? Because obviously when you watch the finished product, they all look incredible. It sounds great and the whole kind of Thank choreography. You. But when you're actually shooting, I've interviewed actors and actresses before who've done musicals. It's quite different to what it actually looks like. You're obviously, you to, sometimes yeah. you're kind of miming, there's sort of not a track that's playing. It's, does it ever feel quite sort of silly or sort of standing thing? I can't wait to see how this turns out. It was, it was <laughs> difficult actually. When we, when we did a lot of the scenes, myself and Thomas sort of had earpieces in our helmets yeah. to hear the song if we were sort of singing, singing along. Um, and that, that proved quite difficult because we couldn't sort of hear our direction yeah. and um, and then also focusing on sort of the Actually, what, what, what we, what we were doing but and the, then kind of trying to make it sound nice because no one ever wants the sound, yeah. although that's not live recorded, you don't want, you don't want to sound the awful crew. in front of the crew, yeah. Yeah, that was the thing, like I mean, every time we had to do it, it was always full out. Um, even though it was kind of cuts and stop start, mm. um, yeah, it would always be full out. Yeah, so it's quite exhausting. Yeah, yeah. So it was quite tiring. But um, yeah, it was totally kind of committed to. Well, it was quite interesting because we obviously don't film in order. One of our last scenes is in one of the last scenes that myself and Sophie filmed was um, actually in the first episode. So it's kind of weird watching that now. It's like obviously out online, um, and we were watching the first episode and thinking that was our very last yeah. day, our first day and our last day, all in one episode, um, which is which is quite challenging, I guess, when we're in terms of getting back to the your Mindset, headspace yeah. of that story, yeah. yeah. And naturally, I mean, there have been comparisons to, to High School Musical, and I was just wondering, I mean, this must be quite exciting, quite um, something quite great to know that you're kind of involved in a programme that could be, have could touch and inspired sort of people of a certain age that that High School Musical did to perhaps you yeah. guys as well. I mean, um, that must be yeah. quite kind of overwhelming. Yeah. I Completely. Guess. I mean, total yeah. honour, I think. I mean, we I can think, speak for us all, we all watched High School Musical when we were younger and loved it. And I definitely got inspired in the sort of singing and acting um, department from that. Um, so to be able to even like, you know, as an actor, all you want to do is make someone feel something or make them laugh and then you've done your job, that's what mm. I think. So to be able to inspire you know, young children and, and let them do new things and stuff, which hopefully the Lodge will do, that is totally yeah. an honour, yeah, I yeah, think. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they, they have basketball and high school musical and I'm really devastated that we probably won't be able to have that in the Lodge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you play basketball? Yeah. yeah. I played basketball at, at like college and school and I would love to do that. But Thomas has requested football, I think, yeah. for, yeah, football. If, if there's a series <laughs> too. So. Yeah. 
I think you guys should do rhythmic gymnastics, but I mean... We could try that. Well, but there was a rumour about swimming, wasn't there? Yeah. yeah, you never know. You've always got the mountain bikes anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for your time today. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys.